Today I'm going to be unboxing XP Pen's Artist Display 22E Pro. I actually ended up buying this from their site directly. Originally I did want to get the Artist Display 22R Pro, but at the time when I wanted to buy a tablet, they were out of stock. So I decided to go ahead and go with the 22E Pro. Anyways, after ordering it, it only took five days for it to show up in the mail, and that was over Memorial Day weekend, so props to them for quick delivery. But enough talking, it's time to open this thing up. And there you have it. And this box is not small. This thing measures out to two feet. And even though this is my first graphic tablet, I knew that I wanted a big one in order to draw everything on. I'm not going to go into all the details about it because, well, you can just go to their website to find all that out. I want to go ahead and open it. So right on top, we have the box of cables, or at least I think that's what it is. And underneath, we have the display itself. And there's the display. And honestly, I don't have any worries about it being broken because they did a very good job with packing it. All that's left now is to take off the bag. And as I thought, inside the brown box, we have all the little goodies that come with this display. We got the glove, we got cables, more cables, two stylus, more cables, and cables, and cables, cables, <laughs> and of course, instructions. Inside of the bag, we have the guide, a thank you card, Another card showing all the drivers that you need to download, warranty, and of course, a microfiber cloth. One of the things that I do have to say I like about this is that they do include two styluses. One of them comes with a really nice case because you're really only going to need one case. You can see that the stylus is on the inside. On the other side, they have eight spare tips. Now one of the big differences between the 22R and the 22E is that with the 22R, you do not have to charge the stylus, but with this one, you do. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. With that plugged in, I can now go ahead and set up the display. After removing the plastic, and of course the paper, telling you to remove the plastic, you gotta remove the film that protects the screen. On the back, of course, they have this nice little lever that you can pull up in order to raise or lower the tablet. Plugging in the display isn't that hard. We have one cable that gets plugged into a USB port on the computer, the power cable, and of course the HDMI. Once all that's taken care of, all you have to do is turn it on. Once everything is plugged in, you're gonna go to their website, you're gonna find the pad that you have, Go down to the driver that you need, and then all you have to do is click download. After it's downloaded, you're gonna want to extract all the files and then run the driver. So once you have the driver set up, you can go ahead and recalibrate it, you can adjust the display settings, or you can set the express keys. There's eight on each side, at least for this model. But for now, I really just want to test this thing out. As you can see, I have Microsoft Whiteboard set up, which is a free drawing program that comes with Windows. And it's time to finally see how well this works. Oh my god. Oh, wow. I love this. I absolutely love this. This is so freaking smooth. Well, guys, I know that I have been making RC videos for a long time, but I have been making some art videos every once in a while. So I will be doing more art videos using this, but I will be still doing RC videos. So, like I mentioned earlier, this is the first drawing display that I've ever owned, so I can't really compare it to anything else. But I will tell you right off the bat, first impression, 
I love this. I don't regret purchasing this on any level. It's a great size, incredibly responsive, came with everything that I needed, had no problems installing the drivers. It works perfectly and I just, I love it. So if you haven't done so already, feel free to subscribe. I will be doing so much more art in the future and I will be uploading a lot more videos. But like I mentioned, I will be doing RC still. It's just now I'm going to be getting into art.